Yes, good afternoon. This is Eric Sands again from the Sands Farm PC. And I was asked a question a little bit earlier. And the question I was asked is, well, you know, I gave someone money and do they have to pay it back? Now, whenever you hear the issue of money, the question always arises whether there's a gift or is it a loan. If it's a gift, then obviously it does not have to be repaid. If it's a loan, then it would have to be repaid. It all depends on the characterization of the money, and this is where parties dispute. If you give a person a gift, they do not have to pay it back. If it's a loan, they have to pay it back, and you can either have interest or no interest. What you would do to protect yourself is to write some kind of agreement. It doesn't have to always be a formalized agreement, or a ten-page agreement. It could be a one-page piece of paper that says, I loan you $5,000 and you agree to pay me back $5,000 plus 2% interest by uh, May 1st, 2015. It could be something as simple as that. That's a contract. You have an offer, an acceptance, and then you have consideration, which is the money, the $5,000. So and if, if you want to protect yourself so you don't have these disputes, and you know you'll see a lot of your disputes, and I chuckle about it, you see a lot of your disputes on like, you know, uh, these court shows like Judge Judy or Mathis or any one of these other stores, these, um, these what you call judge shows or arbitration shows, um, this is where you see these disputes. And it always arises, what's the characterization of money? So if you want to protect yourself and ensure that you never become a party to those kind of claims, make sure if you're going to give people money, make sure you have a writing, formal with the agreement or what the two of you agree to, and make sure you have it signed by the other party. There is no requirement for it to be notarized just to have a signature from the other party to claim. So they can't claim they didn't know about it, they had no authorization, so it's not binding. And when I say signature, just keep in mind a signature means lots of things in the law. It could mean a fingerprint. It could mean your initials, that the way you sign it all the time. It could mean a print, the way you print it all the time. It could be a symbol such as ES or a logo. Any one of those things can suffice as a signal under the law. So just remember, if you want to protect yourself, get a writing. And that way you never have to get into a dispute, whether it's a gift or a loan. Thank you.